From the refs! Welcome to From the Refs. Uh, I'm Karen Blair. Big Will's not here today because it's the last day of the Palladium Open House. And uh, today we're trying to, you know, bring the last of the artists and that we haven't done. But we also want to uh, interview people like Paul and Ian Herbert. And, and I did that in the wrong order. Should say Paul and Ian. Um, and uh, why they came all the way from England. And why would they come all the way from England to here just to come to the small Palladium Open House? It's great. Everybody loves having you here. You guys have been a hoot. I mean, Thank you. me and you talked forever last night. <laughs> I barely got up after the conversation. But uh, it, it was great. Um, you know, why did you guys make it all the way? I mean, you guys had to get on a plane and rent cars and, you know, the whole bit to get here. What brings you? Well, we came two years ago okay. um, to the open house. Literally, it was um, Kevin said it might potentially be the last whatever. And, you know, the opportunity to have all of the playing writers GMing the games yeah. that they've written is, is something else you just can't experience. Um, so we came. And we we said it's you know it's either gonna make or break the the um, the, the the I love the Palladium yeah I, I literally that yeah I love the Palladium um, and it it made it it was such a good laugh Kevin always refers to Palladium as being a family yeah and um, even you know, two Brits from over the pond come in and instantly. Oh. Um, you're made to feel welcome by some of the most friendly people I've ever met. Yeah, I, I know when, I didn't even know you guys were here, like, you know, I just heard, they're here, and I started wandering around looking for you guys. <laughs> I'm like, where the hell are they, where the hell are they, you know, looking through the tent. Ah, oh, there you are! You know, so. Exactly, yeah. It's so much, it, it's so nice to be able to properly talk to, to the artists yeah. and the writers and the, and the creators and all that. It's not, I mean, I, we've never been to any other kind of, of Convention, convention, role playing convention. Yeah, it wasn't anything really we, we wanted yeah. to do, but because this is a um, you know a, a small thing where it's but a lot more intimate, where you're actually talking yeah. to the people, you get to yeah. spend a lot of time with the people. You're not queuing up for two hours, lines, to, yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. just to go hi, yeah. we love your stuff, thank you, and then and then walk off again. Yeah, yeah. You so know, it's, it's, it's a convention style. So. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So it's a completely di different atmosphere, and we we enjoyed it so much two years ago that it was. Um, it was like yep. So, so you basically once you got here, you, you or once you tried it once, you just had to come back when there was another one. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. absolutely. Did uh, is this like you guys? Did you take your vacation to come do this, or you know, uh, were you able yeah. to get time off? Yeah. Or? Yes, take a, yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 so that's yeah. it, eh? You know, yeah. your vacation's over just to come. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> it's I mean, well worth it though. Uh, and did you get in a bunch of games? Did you you know run just well, play or the first? When we came here two years ago, I think I was quite nervous about even just playing because you know, yeah. do people do the same things as we do? Am I, I going to yeah. look stupid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, uh, you know, make mistakes. Uh, but we found that all the games masters were so um, uh, kind of welcoming and they, yeah. uh, they, they very accommodated. They, different levels of, of play in every game, and they, you know they accommodated mm -hmm. everybody. That um, this year, both Paul and I decided that we would have a go at German ourselves. So we've both yeah. run. Uh, Three games over this weekend. Did you, you want to give uh, give us an idea of the stuff you've ran? Like, um, I did. Uh, um, I did two Palladium Fantasy games and one Nightbane game. Yeah. And uh, Paul did. Would yeah, you? Palladium Fantasy. It's it's our main sort of line. Yeah. yeah. Right. So my adventure. I've I've just given it to Wayne for a um, possible submission to the Rifters. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's cool. Touch wood. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. yeah. And then, uh, did you run? Do you just run that same one I over and over? The same game three times, yeah. Because yeah. the, the joy is that you get, you know, eighteen different, or, you know, three lots of six. The different yep. people play in the different, um, the different style, different different, different set scenario. Mm -hmm. Now, were yours uh, the two plating ones the same, or did you? They run? were the same, yeah. Okay, and I, then you were in a separate night game. Separate night game. Did you find was one harder to run than the other? Um, yeah, but that was because of the type of games I was doing. The the, the Palladium one was. Uh, very much a detective kind of game where yeah, I left yeah. it up to the players to decide what they wanted yeah. to do. So, you know, um, that's why I did it twice really because there was it was it was more player driven. Okay. So it was two two different games. Yeah. Because it ended up being completely yeah, different. Yeah. And uh, how about the games you you participated in? Did you get into anything good or that you liked? Yeah, not at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get an idea of who yeah. you played with. You just dragged me out of a really good game. To do this. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, <laughs> guys. I did. I, I went over and drug him out of a dead rain game. 
so that he could spend 15 minutes with us to film <laughs> this and, and it's you not know. too bad because I've already been turned into a zombie. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you yeah. don't don't survive many games of Gavin now. No. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I like killing them too. So, <laughs> did uh, did you play other stuff other than zombies or? Uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, when we were here two years ago, uh, I think I did. Uh, I managed to play in every game I wanted to. You know, there yep. were people I, I wanted to um, play with Kevin. I wanted to play with Julius. I wanted to play with. Uh, James Brown mm -hmm. and uh, a whole bunch of other people, and I got to do that. The one person I didn't get to game with two years ago was you, which I managed yeah. to do <laughs> this time. Yeah. So, and, and I'm playing with 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 Lonnie now, and I haven't haven't played a single, even um, you know the the professionals, the uh, um, experts who do yeah. this. Um, they they've been brilliant, and even the people like us, just the fans, all the games yeah. I've played have been pretty good. Been yeah, really yeah. Good. I have to agree I too. Agree. Yeah, um, I got to play. Uh, Japan 2 with okay. um, Braden yesterday. That's pretty cool. And then again, coming to the open house is the only time where you get to play the games by the writers yep. before they've even released yeah. it. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, I know. I do the same the thing stuff. too. So. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, this sounds like a cool thing. I'll just try it out in the next game. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I do that too. Yeah. Yeah, so, what do you guys play at home? Do you play the same same stuff as like Palladium? Or, um, um, most, I mean, mostly Palladium, Palladium and then yeah. we, we um, uh, intersperse it with a bit of heroes and Night Bay yeah. occasionally. It's always the playing system. It's normally fantasies are okay. mainline, but now, well, I've got all the others. Most of uh, uh, most of the players here in North America, right? Um, it's pretty easy to get a group together. You know, relatively, there's a, there's a lot of people that play. You get them at all the game stores. What's it like um, in England? Like, is there? Because most of us know that there's a, a lot of 40k and that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Because we see it all over the internet, yeah. and you know, yeah. uh, it's obviously the home of uh, GW. So is that the big thing, or, or is, is, is role playing as big? No, it's it, it, it more. There's a games workshop in every town. Okay. <laughs> but getting a role playing group together would be would be nigh impossible. Yeah. We've I've found it very difficult, but um, but then we've always played amongst our friends as okay. a, uh, yeah. as, as a, a group. group. So we haven't made a huge effort to go out there and, and look for other people. But I, I, at the moment, I wouldn't know where to start. There isn't a local. Shops selling role playing games other than well, the, the, the Warhammer. So, so, so. Where, where are you getting your Palladium stuff? Do you have to go on to the online or? So, so you, you guys are ordering it from yeah, Kevin? Yeah, most of the yeah. stuff we get is you know, on the right. Palladium. That's website. one of the things about Palladium is we can't pick up a book and we can't flick through and go, oh, that's good, that's good, that's good. The one thing about Palladium is you know it's going to be good. Oh, okay. So yeah. you just order it, it turns up and you're like, yeah. And well, come okay. here to the open house means yeah. that we can buy a load of yep. books, you know, cause we're not paying for postage and we can browse through them first. What about, well. what about getting them back? Do you, do you have hassles getting them back? Um, I haven't bought that many. I just didn't know if, like, cause I'm from Canada, I'm Canadian. Mm -hmm. um, for me to go back from the open house with my stuff, I've got to go through all that customs crap and it's a pain in the butt. <laughs> it's just a, a weight. How much weight is your suitcase? Not pretty yeah, much I should it. think it. That's it? Yeah. Wow. Okay. I'm not, not going to declare it anyway. Can you make sure you put this online <laughs> after I get back into the UK? <laughs> yeah, it'll be online m much later than that. So, um, all in all, you've had a good time. Uh, fantastic absolutely time. Yeah. Absolutely fantastic. Well, uh, we were just talking about, um, hopefully, touch wood, Kevin, if you're watching, he's going to do it again in another two years or so. And you, we're, uh, you're going to make the effort to come all the way back yeah, again? Indeed, yeah. I would, I've, I've tried, still, depending uh, on I'm still not I played in your game, Carmen. I'm still not <laughs> playing on this. Yeah. All right, then. Okay, well, that's about it. We were about out of time, so we'll wrap it up here. Um, thank you from Carmen Belair. Thank you from Ian Herbert. And Paul Herbert. All right. Guys, uh, make sure you like the videos because it helps us out, as well as subscribe, and make sure you click on the ads because we're trying to get enough money to get a new camera together. Sorry that my voice has been so crappy, but uh, <laughs> it's the last day of the open house. I've been running it to a shoestring, and there's not much I can do about it now. I'm just trying to get the last of the videos done. So. That's from the riffs. Thanks, and see you later.